Everyone's heard of acids before. It makes us think of sour lemons, vinegar, and the phantom of the opera. But what is an acid? An acid is a usually non-metal substance that produces H plus ions when it's added to water. In class, we would have come across hydrochloric acid, HCl, sulfuric acid, H2SO4, and nitric acid, HNO3. Acids have a sort of opposite called bases. Bases produce OH minus ions when added to water. Bases are usually metals. Bases you've come across are sodium hydroxide, NaOH, calcium hydroxide, CaOH3, and ammonia solution, NH3. If we add a base to an acid, they cancel each other out, and the hydrogen and hydroxide ions produce water and a salt. This is called neutralization. A salt is just an ionic compound produced during neutralization. If we add a metal oxide or metal hydroxide base to an acid, we get just water and a salt. So if we add the acid HCl to the base NaOH, we end up with water and sodium chloride, which is table salt. Don't get confused though, it's just a coincidence that the salt produced in this example is called table salt. We can see that this equation is already balanced. If we add a metal carbonate or a metal hydrogen carbonate to an acid, we get the same water and salt, plus carbon dioxide. So if we add hydrochloric acid to the base calcium carbonate, we end up with water and calcium chloride and carbon dioxide. Write out the equation. Now replace with the formulae. HCl plus CaCO3 yields H2O plus CaCl2 plus CO2. We can see that there is an extra hydrogen on the right hand side, so we write 2HCl on the left to balance it out. Now there's the same amount of atoms on the left as there is on the right, and everything is balanced. Different substances can be more acidic or more basic than others, and so we can place them on a simple scale called the pH scale. The pH scale ranges from 0 to 14, with all the numbers below 7 being acids, and all the numbers above 7 being bases. Because 7 is in the middle, it's neutral. Water is neutral, and so has a pH of 7. We can test for pH using two methods. The first is simple. It's called the litmus test, and uses red and blue paper called litmus paper to reveal whether a substance is acidic, basic, or neutral. If the blue paper turns red, it's an acid. If red turns blue, it's basic. If both colours stay the same, it's neutral. You need to test with both colours to make sure the substance is or isn't neutral. A more precise method is to use a universal indicator. This comes as a paper or liquid, and when added to a substance, will change to a specific colour of the rainbow. The colour depends on the pH value of the substance. Red to yellow is acidic, green is neutral, and dark green to purple is basic. There's some key things to remember. In water, acids produce hydrogen ions, and bases produce hydroxide ions. When acids are mixed with bases, it causes neutralization and water and salt is produced, sometimes with carbon dioxide. Red litmus paper turns blue for a base, blue turns red for an acid, and both stay the same for a neutral substance. A universal indicator can be used to test for the pH value depending on the color that is produced.